Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today episode we got this cool mid runner here and basically what this is, is electric space heater. If you guys look right here, they probably got some specs and features that's on here. So they mentioned how there's two warming speed on here. It has the oscillating option on here. It has a natural wind option as well. They mentioned how the product has a fast and quiet heating option. And it also used a PTC ceramic heating option. And for the product, it definitely has like the overheat protection and all the other protection as well. But first thing first, I'm actually open the product to show you guys what it actually looks like and what is actually included inside first. All right. So when you guys first open up, you can definitely see the protection layer inside. Let's take it out. All right. So once you take off that layer right there, you can definitely see the heat right there. So take out the heater first. All right. So first thing we see inside right here, they provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And then right here, if you see, we do have the actual product and it's all nicely wrapped up. Let's take off the bag first. All right. So once we take off the product, this actually looks right here. So definitely for the front part right here is where the heat will come out. And then for the back part right here, we do have the cable you have to unplug in to actually activate the product. And then right here, they do probably guys a quick starter guy as well to tell you guys what to do or what not to do. And if you see the back part right here, we do have a switch for you guys to activate the product. If you see the top part right here, they have the more buttons as well. So there's definitely an oscillating option, the fan option, low and high speed level, and an on and off button. And if you see the bottom part right here, we do have like non slip material as well. And I believe in the bottom right here, they do have like a tip over protection as well. So if you guys actually bump on the product and it tips over, it's supposed to turn off by itself. And also in the back part here, we see we do have a handle option. So that way it makes it a lot easier for you guys to carry around if you guys need to. But that is basically everything that's on the part right here. Let me just go plug this in and actually test it out to show you guys how it works and when it actually works. And then we'll come back and tell more product in a second. All right, so we got the product all plugged in right here. Let's turn it on and test it out. So I'm pressing the on button first. So see, we do have the red ink light on top. And definitely immediately once you guys turn it on, you can definitely feel the heat on here. If we press on this button right here, that changed to low. So definitely two different temperature settings on here, low and high. If you guys want to turn on the fan, you can see how the light changed to blue. So basically right now we are using the fan option. So definitely really cool how to give you guys the option to use like a heater option or a fan option on here. And definitely when you guys feel the fan on here, it actually feels really nice. You definitely get that cooling effect on here. If you guys press on this button right here, you can definitely see how the product moves left and right. If you can see how far it moves left and right, it definitely give you guys a pretty good coverage if you guys are planning to use this on your desk. But definitely once you guys turn on the product, it definitely works really, really well. Especially when you guys turn on the heater option, it definitely heats up like immediately within seconds. But now let's try the tip over protection on here to see how that works. Let's try the tip over protection on here. So we just tilt it. Nothing happens. But if you guys tilt it over, and definitely when you guys feel the heat on here, it slowly turns off. So if you see the tip over protection, it definitely does work. But it does take some time for it to actually turn off. It doesn't turn off immediately. And also for tip over protection on here, you actually have to fully tip over. If you guys tip over just a little bit, it won't turn off. But if it falls down like this, then it will turn off. And welcome back guys. So nice little quick test of product definitely see that she does work and she works quite well. Literally all you guys need to do is just plug in the cable and just activate the product, both on the switch in the back and also on top. And definitely change the different speed levels on here and the different modes as well. And it's actually really cool how to give you guys a fan option on here. So that way you guys get both the heating option and also a fan as well. And the fact that the product is so compact and portable, you can basically bring this with you guys anywhere or put anywhere as well. So if you guys do need like the fan option or the heat option, you can definitely put it onto your desk right next to you. To actually keep you guys cool or warm. But definitely obviously for the test, everything definitely does work. From the heat option, the fan option, and also the tip over protection as well. But that is basically everything that's on the bar right here. Now to come boxing and testing the product. Not to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this part right here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality portable space heater that has like the Austin option, the heater option, the fan option, and all the protection as well, then this is definitely super worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't want or have one of these, they obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.